So the first card is gain. So you are going, are leaving behind all the problems that you've been facing and you are moving to the future and moving quite quickly. So things are picking up. Uh, maybe that phase of a standstill has now come to an end and you are starting to move forward. And you're going there, um, maybe you have this relationship that you are in. Uh, there's a lot of hope and you all are making plans for the future, uh, you and uh, the person that you are with. And, you know, you have a decision that you have to make as well it's a trans life transforming decision so it's something that is big and is going to bring bring big changes in your life as well uh you know rising from the ashes kind of uh situation uh, and uh, it's uh, going to take you on a different path in life so in the past you may have had a journey or maybe you went on vacation um and you were dealing with a dark haired woman as well um you know it seems like maybe you went with this person uh, on this trip on this journey that you went to could have been a little holiday so going into the future you've got happiness you are with somebody at the moment who is or you will be with somebody uh, who will be very supportive very loyal and will help you get through any kind of situation cloudy situation that you're going through so any troublesome situation it seems like you've got this really good friend sort of soulmate connection that will help you um uh, get through it uh, will give you that support um, you need to be on the lookout though you make sure that you are keeping your ears open and watching out for any signs or information that is coming in um, you know make sure that you are well aware of things that are going on around you you may need to stop and take a little look around you and assess the situation uh, and so gather in enough information in order for you to make any decisions that you have to make so the main energies of the card is the uh, nine of chalices. Um, you are going to be, you are heading for a situation where you will get everything that you want and you will be happy. You've got this really big cup over here um, and it is a wish fulfillment card, the nine of cups. So you are going to get that happiness that you have been desiring for for so long and it's going to make you very re relaxed. You are getting to a situation finally where you are conquering all these problems that you've been through and you are going to be able to relax and just take a break uh, because, you know, it, there's a lot of happiness that is coming uh, for you, something that you can rely on, something that's going to be long term. So what's happening with you? You've been through a situation where, uh, you know, you may have come through a, you know, it's a very difficult situation. You've got two really difficult cards here uh, with the devil card and the tower card. The devil card talks about somebody who was a, really a bully in your life that overwhelmed you and seemed to have destroyed everything about your life. So that situation that you were in was a very destructive situation. It rocked your whole foundations because you can see this tower has been lifted from the ground. There's a lot of these um dinosaurs uh flying around here but it looks like you know there's, lo there's a lot of monsters in your life if you like and whatever stability you had was completely destroyed you were moved uh, from that situation and you were taken uh you know uh you had no control over it it was almost as though god put his hand and pulled you out from that situation so you have been removed from that situation uh from a person that was bullying you taking advantage of you uh, destroying your confidence keeping you in the in the dark uh somebody was almost eating see this this um particular devil is eating the trees over here so you know destroying your product productivity destroying your um everything about you your confidence but a situation has come in that has completely uprooted you. You can see that this um, the trees are completely uprooted here. And it, this tower has completely been removed from its foundations. So everything about your life seems to have just, you know, uh, everything that you knew in the past seems to have been completely removed or, or destroyed or, um, you know, you've been completely uprooted from whatever you were in and removed from that situation, taken away from that situation because it was really detrimental to you and it was serving, not serving you at all. In fact, it was destroying you. So it seems like the universe intervened and you seem to have been removed from it. There was a lot of loss, it seems, and you've you've been feeling very, very lonely, very isolated in this tower here. Uh, but, you know, you've had a complete um, destruction of that that former life that you had. So in the past year, you've got the three of cups over here. Uh, you know, you, you may have had, uh, that's, you know, uh, a lot of friends and family supporting you uh, in this particular move. Um, so, you know, there has been um, a, a case where there has been a lot of emotional support that you've needed to, to draw on. 
in the uh, last three months, you've got the Eight of Pentacles. You're now focused on your work and focused on learning new skills and becoming an expert at what you do. So whatever this uh, whole drama was, whatever this traumatic situation was, you seem to have like uh, trying to set it aside and focus all your attentions on your work and, and becoming an expert at what you're doing. So on your mind, you want to manifest your future. You want things to come into fruition. You are very busy doing whatever you're doing and working a lot. Uh, you might be learning as well. You might be studying or, or taking up some courses. This three of this, uh, Eight of Pentacles also talks about studying and learning on the job. Uh, so you might be um, getting extra additional information in order to become an expert at it. You're very, very busy. You're doing multiple things, maybe handling multiple scenarios, uh, multiple projects at the same time. So very, very busy working to deadlines, using your brain a lot. The mouse is a very smart little creature. So you've been using your brains quite a bit and coming up with some very, very amazing solutions to problems. But you have been really focused on your work and focused on learning. Now, um, going into the future, you've got the judgment card and it's the final struggle, the final hurdle that you're going to get through in order for you to rise like a phoenix above the ashes. So you are reaching a point where after the tower, um, the judgment card comes in to take you out of that situation. You need to review the past and you need to let go of it. And although it is something very distressing for you and you're working very, very hard, it is something that you need to do in order for you to leave the situation. You see this person's got their head down in their hands. They seem a bit despondent. Maybe that's how you're feeling right now, but it is all for your own good. At the end of the day, you will be the victor in this situation and you will transform. You will rise above all of this. Um, you know. And although this is very difficult that you're going through this right now, it is something that is um, needed for you to uh, transform into something better. Um, how people see you, they see you as the Knight of Swords. Now, um, the Knight of Swords is a card that is uh, ruled um, rules Libra. Um, you know, you are a person that's very quick talking, quick thinking, quick moving with the Knight of Swords. But sometimes you end up rushing into battles, uh, you know, uh, or you might be a bit rash doing things without thinking. Um, so, you, you know, um, maybe people say things to you and you know, you've got a very quick comeback. So you need to really uh, rein it in. You need to rein that energy in. You need to pull it back. You need to just stop and think before you say anything. Also, you need to uh, give everything careful consideration and not r rush into it blindly uh, without having uh, a plan in place. So that's very important. Um, you know, the night, it seems, gets angry. You've got a lot of red sky here. Gets angry very, very quickly. And maybe after being through all this drama, it's made you very, very angry. And, you know, you're not letting anybody um, get the better of you. You are going in over there and you are going in, um, you know, sword first. So, you know, you're ready for a fight after going, um, after being deceived by this this card, the devil card. And after having gone through the tower, you know, the tower is such a destructive, big, huge energy. You are now in a, in a point where, you know, you want to... to get into battles and fights very quickly, you're so defensive. So you need to actually rein that energy in and focus it, make it, turn it into a positive energy rather than keeping it as a negative focus. Um, so whatever anger, you need to heal from it and turn it into something positive. Focus that energy in a positive uh, way. You've got the Three of Pentacles over here. You are working very, very hard at what you're doing at your, in your job. Uh, you can see and very, very expert at it. You might be consulting a lot of people. Um, you know, you might be in a, in a particular job where uh, you collaborate with a lot of people. So, you know, you, you, you need to not be in that energy of the Knight of Swords, uh, you know, where you're aggressive. You don't, you, you shouldn't be aggressive because you are working with a lot of people and they have great admiration for your skills. They think that you're very, very good at what you do. So you need to rein in any kind of emotional energy and, uh, you know, um, make sure you think before you say anything that might upset people. But definitely an expert, get, becoming an expert. So all this hard work that you've been doing with this Eight of Pentacles, you've definitely learned your, your trade or whatever you know, you're an expert at it. And people are seeing it now. They're all coming from all the four corners of the earth to actually come in and uh, ask for your skills. So that is what is going on around you. Your hopes and fears, you've got the Nine of Cups. You want an apology from a person who has given you grief uh, with this Nine of uh, Cups. Uh, so you want them to come and say they're sorry for what they did. You do want that apology. You're waiting for it. You want them to admit uh, what they did and how they've hurt you. You want them to acknowledge that. 
So uh, going into the future, you've got the Queen of Pentacles, uh, the Five of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles. So you are pretty much on top of whatever you're doing right now. <coughs> it looks like you might end up with a management kind of position over there where you are in charge of a lot of people and um, sorting through the situations. You will need to be very logical and you need to be very practical, especially with this Queen of Pentacles. And there is money coming in for you with, over here. So some sort of raise, um, you know, new money coming in over here and you will have a new position of authority. So make sure that you watch out for your health with this Five of Pentacles. It is a card that can talk about illness and it can talk about financial loss as well. So watch how you're spending your money too and watch how, uh, you know, take a break. Make sure that you're not getting any kind of stress illnesses with this Five of Pentacles because you don't want to end up getting ill in the middle of trying to do, manifest something. So look after yourself, watch your eating, watch your health, uh, get your health checks if you need to. And the last card is the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, you know, all the all your abundance is just about to come so you're just waiting for this abundance to come in you've invested a lot of time a lot of effort a lot of energy into this particular job and you are now waiting for it to pay off so all the studying and hard work uh, will pay off because the money is there available on the tree you can see these pentacles are all available and when you're just sitting and waiting um, you've put down really firm roots with this uh, tree going into this mud and it looks like you know you have risen above it so you just you are just sitting and waiting. It might seem like things are very, very static. Maybe it feels like it's not going to pay off, but it is there and it will pay off with the Seven of Pentacles. So you will come into your, your ships will come in. Um, your money will come. But you're now reaching this point where you're making big decisions about how you're going to get forward in life. And it looks like you will end up in some sort of position of authority and position of management. So you've got the Sun card coming in for you. Happy outcome. Brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. So you are going to achieve whatever goals that you want to. Uh, there is a happy outcome and it is being guided by Archangel Uriel. And you've got some new ideas and it's going to be very successful. Then you've got the Seven of Fire, which says defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand up. Stand your ground and choose your battles wisely. So like I said, with this... Um, uh, Knight of Swords, don't rush into things, don't rush into fights and arguments, just, it says, choose your battles carefully here, and uh, make sure that you do defend yourself, you do need to defend what you believe in, but don't do it in an aggressive form, do it, um, you know, softly, softly, um, as they say, and um, you will be able to uh, sort through the problems, but just make sure that you're doing it very diplomatically, so diplomacy really needed here, you need to put that into place, and the last one is the Eight of Fire, who says, Events are moving at a fast pace. Delays are over. Many things happening at once. So things are going to start shifting. Energy and fire is coming back into your hands. So your power is coming back again. And you will start making, um, you know, things will start moving. You will be very busy. This is a period of being very busy. And that is coming to play. Um, and all the delays that you were going through are going to be over. So you will be successful. Um, and just try not to rush into battles uh, unnecessarily. And don't worry about this big decision that you have to make. It has to be made, um, but you will end up being very successful in the end. You will get what you want. And people are recognizing, recognizing that you are an expert at what you're doing now. They see the hard work that you've put in, and they know that you. it looks like there's some sort of promotion or a new job or something that brings you extra finances and puts you in a position of leadership over here. But just watch how you're spending. Watch out for your health, and you will get your abundance coming to you. You have overcome the worst. The worst is now over. It's all behind you. And now just look forward to the future because you've got the nine of cups of here. So you are going to be very happy soon. Very, very happy.